How's it going everybody? Bueller here again. I'm actually going to try and do a double upload today. Uh, so this first video is just going to be a review of the trade so far that Jason has called out and it's been doing amazing. But I wanted to break it down from square one so everyone can actually see how we chart and everything. So um, if you guys haven't already, please go check out the other videos in which talk about how we chart, talking about the technical analysis routine. Uh, and a big thing that we start with is on the weekly time frame. So if you haven't checked it out, please go start with that before you watch this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start breaking this down. So a big thing with how we trade is we like to grab a range on the weekly time frame first when we chart. So I'm going to be looking for a good high that's outside of the current price range while using emerging candles. An emerging candle is a candle from the left side. You want to go left to right like a book <clears throat> that has a candle move up to the high or a good high volume push. So anything that pushes up, you want to mark the top of the buyer. So I'm going to mark all the tops of my buyers in the daily. But right now we're on the weekly. I'm just getting my range. So I want to get a good resistance turn support. So I have a good bottom side of the range all-time high and maybe even a closer like on this chart. I need to grab a closer one so we can have a good closer range. And that's just so I can focus on just right here. So now I'm going to go back through from the left side, like I said before, <clears throat> and I'm going to mark all of the emerging candles from left to right. And see, this is not an emerging candle. It is not something that pushes into a new area. It's not a high volume. I mean, sorry, it is a high volume. Though, so I am going to mark it. Sorry, I was like jumbling my words there. Uh, but let's just look from left to right. Again, I didn't even look at the right to see if these would work or not. I'm just focusing on the emerging candles. Let's go over to the right now and let's see how we are. Wow, awesome. They're being utilized very well. The only thing it didn't count was the gap down that ended up getting recovered from the same day. But our levels are working very well. You can see there is a nice good area in here which price broke out today above that recent high. Um, but let's get some trend lines going now. So a big thing I like to do in analyzing is just analyzing the primary trend. So right now it's in an uptrend from head to toe. <clears throat> Now, or sorry, from toe to head, I should say. Uh, but now we want to see, because it's clearly in an uptrend, now we want to see what's happening on, you know, towards that trend line, what's happening towards that. So I want I want to see that stuff now. So let's focus on the current trend. So right now you can see it did end up breaking a good downtrend change in which Jason talked about in the alerts before. Uh, but price ended up breaking up, slowly working up to this 115, rejected it, and then worked itself all the way down. And I'll show you here in a second. Worked all the way down to 95, 96's area, and now is pumping back up and giving us a good trend change play again. So very, very similar to how this looked when it was popping out over here. You're now seeing it again right here. See how you have this retest come down and hold on the same level? See how you have the retest come down and hold on the same level? These are the 50% control points. Big thing with how we trade. Big way you can grab these is from where price recovered inside of trend up to the high of the move. Price ended up holding it on the 50% control point and continued itself up. Let's do it again. Mark up that again from bottom of support to high of the trend before uh, the most recent recovery, of course, or retracement, end up holding the 50% retracement. Just another side tool we look at. We like to mark those control points. Anytime you have a big candle like this breakout, we like to mark the 50% of it. Uh, so anytime you see that, go ahead and mark it. I almost bet you it's a very, 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 very strong and crucial level. At the end of today, I'm going to mark the 50% of today just because if there is any short-term retracement, it'll most likely hold above the 50% of this candle or the 104 on the bigger time frame. So very big breakout today, and I think his play is well over 40 percent right now uh, so if you guys took this play amazing job but i wanted to break this down head to toe uh, of exactly what jason was looking at when he was taking control of this trade uh, very awesome though double confirmation too above that recent high like i said before uh, but let's look at the smaller time frame i want to cover something with everybody uh, so smaller time frame what should you be marking each day you at least need to be marking your previous day high your previous day low your pre-market high, and your pre-market low. So at all, at all times, you need to have these marked on the next day. So if you need to re-clear your chart, please do so. Uh, but after marking all those bigger time frame levels, you need to move down to the smaller time frame levels so you can see what's going on. Uh, this purple line here is just middle VWAP, nothing crazy. Uh, but it's custom to where it doesn't show up on the daily is why it says custom. So it's not special or anything. It's just middle VWAP. Uh, but as you can see, price ended up holding that while also breaking above pre-market high. And let's see to that previous day high, how it worked. Price ended up pushing above the previous day high as well. So that's a good trade opportunity there. A good trade opportunity there. Price ended up holding, breaking it, holding as an 80% entry. And 80% entry is a retest. Please refer over to our big day trading video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Price ended up pushing back up and confirming above that recent day high for another trade opportunity. So even if you aren't a big swing trader, there was four swing or day trade opportunities right there to get in on Jason's play. Amazing work if you guys got into this. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want more of these shorter breakdowns in some of our trades, let me know and I'll get into them.